Welcome to another episode of the Mullet Mustang presented by Turn 14 Distribution. In this episode, we install this beautiful hunk of carbon from QA1. We give the Mustang a little more attitude with this lip from American Muscle. Based on my years and years of uh, high level weight training, I would guess this weighs about 20 pounds, but we're gonna show you how much it weighs in a second. This is obviously a carbon fiber drive shaft from QA1. It's part of their new Rev series. Rev just makes it sound fast, but it is actually designed to be a high speed drive shaft with like this fancy CV and boot assembly. Apparently it's designed to be super stable at high speeds, which improves its NVH, noise, vibration, and harshness qualities. Carbon's actually a really good material for drive shafts too. It's actually stronger and lighter than steel or aluminum. And this particular one is stronger than the other carbon ones on the market, as far as we know. So that, why are we installing it? Well, because we're suckers for punishment. We like things that are made of carbon and it should make a bit of power. It should make acceleration a little snappier and um, it'll make the car more pleasant to drive around. Less NVH is always a good thing. So wait, let's confirm that weight, PT. Ready? Got our fancy uh, digital scales here at NV Auto. Survey says, 20 pounds. There you go, 20 pounds. Let's take the other one off. I mean, Peter, take the other one off. We'll see how much it weighs. Removing the drive shaft on this car looks pretty easy. We've got the carrier bearing held on by two bolts. So I'm gonna pull those guys down. In the back here, we've got uh, about six bolts holding it onto our rear end and four up front on the uh, the yoke here. So I'm gonna get to doing that. We've already pulled the parking brake. So I think the longest thing of this job is gonna be lowering the car, releasing the parking brake, rotating the shaft, pulling it back up. Um, the one thing that I just read in the QA1 instructions is you wanna mark where your OEM drive shaft lines up to the transmission and do it in the back as well because if you ever need to put it back in, those marks are gonna help balance it out so we don't have any drivetrain vibration because that's really the, the most important thing with drive shafts. Oh, there we go. That's bolts on the uh, back side here. And just have to do the, the two bolts holding the carrier bearing up. And I should be able to remove this whole thing. They do recommend, or I should say QA1 recommends dropping the exhaust system. Uh, I think the factory one's got some cats that may interfere up front there, but it looks like we'll be, it'll be smooth sailing for us with our exhaust system since the cats are gone. So we shouldn't have issues with it. Almost got this one out here. There it is. So the drive shaft should technically be ready to, to come out now. Let's see if, uh, oh yeah. Oh, you know what? This wonderful hoop here. Oh yeah, that stiffener? May need to come out. Yeah. I think it does. There we go. <laughs> Scared you more than me, didn't Yeah, you? well, <laughs> when something heavy and rusty falls at me, I, I jump. It's coming. Yes. Oh yeah. Look at that. Look at that piece of rusty bucket. How much does she weigh, PT? You know what, it's not that bad. It's probably a little bit heavier than 20 pounds. I'm gonna say uh, 28. Survey says. Oh man, I was off. Wow, that thing's pretty heavy. 40 pounds. So we've saved 19 pounds. Yeah, that's, I guess, uh, you know, I've been, work, I've been working out a lot, so not 40 pounds feels like 20 to me. <laughs> that's right. While we've got the drive shaft out, I think it's safe to say it's time to replace the bushings that we did on the shifter. My makeshift uh, aluminum tape here. Eh, I mean, it held together for how long? Eh, a couple months, actually. Yeah, a couple months. Not that we were banging a lot of gears. But no, but. At least it let us drive the car. Uh, yeah, it got kind of gooey, but. Anyways, one of our viewers, I don't know who you are, and Dave, I don't think you remember his name either. I don't, I'm an idiot. But he emailed us and said, hey, I got these bushings. Do you want me to send them to you? And thank you. Yes, indeed. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We know how hard these are to find. And apparently he had them kicking around. 
sent us a set. So now we're replacing those on the transmission side and uh, on the shifter side, I ended up buying a set of Steeda bushings. So these are like a Delrin plastic and uh, they're a little bit harder than the factory ones. You can see these ones aren't in horrible shape, but they're starting to kind of bow and, and inflate. I don't know what the technical term is, but they're just getting old yeah. and, and they're starting to rust on here, which is not good. So we're gonna replace all these, put it back in, which will give us a more positive shift feeling for the racetrack and on the street. And mystery uh, bushing guy from Winnipeg, send us your email, email me. I wanna send you a shirt or a sticker or something. You can already tell there is no play or slop in this. Oh man, this is gonna be such a good upgrade. And the backside here, I'll pop that in. Get the nut on, tighten this down and, oh, I'm excited. I think our shifter is about to uh, feel like it's brand new again. Nice. We've gone ahead and installed our first piece on the QA1 carbon drive shaft, and that is this adapter flange that bolts onto our pinion flange. There's six bolts here. They required 47 foot pounds and some thread locker. So now it's time for our actual drive shaft. I really, really want to make sure I don't scratch this carbon drive shaft up because it's just too nice for the mullet. It is the nicest piece I think that we've installed on it so far. It's a pretty blinging piece. It's a shame it's covered oh, by know. this rusty exhaust over pipe and a uh, rusty chassis. But. I know, I know. But you also, what you want to make sure you're going to do here is line up the paint markings. I don't know if you can see this pretty well, but these paint markings have to be lined up for obviously um, vibration purposes. So they're balanced out and QA1 has actually gone ahead and paint marked and balanced everything to this extent where each set of bolts is marked appropriately where it needs to go on the actual yoke there, which is really, really impressive. Very Good cool. job, QA1. Get that thread locker on there. And now it's like a little game, green, is up here green line it up slide it in place and bolt it in more thread sealing here these are on the uh, m12 bolts supplied by qa1 and they're going to secure the front of this drive shaft to the transmission and these get tightened to 85 foot pounds and then once these are all in place, we'll go to the back and uh, tighten those ones up. Shine her up there. That's right. Just, uh, just like I'm washing my head. Gotta get all the, uh, the bugs off it, the grease off it, the, uh, the roadkill. Because there'll be some 3M adhesive tape going on this center part. That'll be attaching that sexy front lip from American Muscle. I think it's called the MMR lip. That was the style of it, I believe. I think so. MMR, I don't even remember. Right? That's how bad my memory is. Well, we paid full pop for it, Pete, so we don't need to, you know, make a big deal out of it. And what we do need to make a big deal out of, though, is the paint that uh, our friend Luke from 242 Customs did for us. So this doesn't come painted. And uh, Luke did an amazing job. The paint quality on this is so much better than the rest of the car. It's. Uh, a bit like the drive shaft is too good for the mullet, but uh, we're gonna slap it on there anyway. So yeah, if you're in the Hamilton area and you need paint work, look up Luke. 242 so Customs. Pete's taken the two uh, screws out of the wheel well liners that will fasten this on on the edge, and then you can see there's 3M tape. That should be all there is to it. We're gonna try to do this uh, two-man job with me holding the camera. So it's wrapped around the corner here. Should we get, I don't know if we're going to be able to get not even close here. Yeah, I don't break oh, it. Oh, there we go. Woo! All right, I think it's on. Well, the one downside is, remember this amazing yeah, yeah. idea you had here? Well, this side is gone completely. That's not good. 
Look how good it fits though, man. Yeah. Like it fits in this contour incredibly well. Yes, it does. Got to give think... props to the mold maker on this one. It's well, just... I think we may have cracked it here just a tiny little bit, Ooh. but that's okay. Yeah, that's not ideal. That's not bad. It'll still hold. The problem is now we got to try to peel it off to get this tape. Well, yeah. Or we just do one side. That's true. <laughs> Nobody will know except the whole internet. All right, let's do it. See, oh, it works yeah, well it when it does it's, work well when it's uh, done actually, right. Look at that. Just push. Front lips on. We gave it a quick wash, and I gotta say, it does add a lot of uh, aggression to the front end that it desperately needed. It kind of looked like a weak chin dentist before, and now it's got a real manly chin on it. Kind of like me now that I think about it, PT. Gray and gray <laughs> matches. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> and it lines up nicely with the side skirt, so it just gives the car a bit more of that. Yeah, I like it. I sporty, definitely like it. Uh, look, so we say we go give this bad boy a rip and see how the shifter feels, see if we notice any difference with the drive shaft yeah, in there. Yeah, let's do it. One last mod we forgot to mention is our NRG quick release hub. We wanted to get the wheel a little further out. Where it was bolted to the Momo hub, it was so close to the the controls and the gauges that we couldn't actually really even see the gauges very clearly. The wheel was kind of blocking them out. So this spaced it out another, I don't know what that is, Pete, 40 mil or something? Yeah, around there. So with this on, brings the wheel out into a better driving position. I can see the gauges and it gives us a bit of safety as far as like removing the wheel if we're worried about the car getting stolen. But frankly, I don't know if many people steal the Mustangs. I don't think mullets get stolen that often. No, so. they just plow into crowds apparently. But. <laughs> exactly. So. Anyway, it'll let us take the Momo with us, should we murder a group of people and then want to make a quick escape. Not the best time for a test drive, Pete. It's kind of rush hour-y, but... Uh, it'll have to do. It'll have to do, yeah. And uh, so you can far, test the shifter, shifter feels so much better. I mean, there's still a little bit of movement in it in, uh, in gear, but much reduced. And uh, the gates feel better defined. So I think that was a... Well, it was a necessity, really, to get that fixed because it was real sloppy before. She pulls good. Well, my butt dyno says I feel more power, but that could just be one of those psychological things where we just put a sexy piece of carbon on the car and it makes me think there's more power there, but more importantly, it really does feel smoother, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, big time. Like, like there's no slop anymore in the yeah like when you the get, drive line which yeah. is yeah yeah really when you awesome do that, like you know on and off the throttle harshly yeah there's no sense of the drive shaft like unwinding or winding up the way maybe the two piece was and I guess losing all that weight too maybe there's just less load being put into the diff less load being put into the tranny which by the way is one of the benefits of a, of a lighter drive shaft it really will take some wear and tear off the diff and off the tranny so it should lengthen the life of those parts. But I gotta say, it really feels smoother. It's. I mean, you still gotta consider we've. The parts that were on the car, the drive shaft has 250,000 kilometers. True. So true. The U joints there may have been a little worn. And that carrier barrier yeah, area so was probably pretty worn too. This, so. I think, is an awesome upgrade for us. It is. It is. And but it feels different. It really does. And that's exciting. It'll be nice to uh, take it to the track go for a rip and see if all this work this winter has paid off with some faster lap times. While we're sitting here at a stoplight, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, jump on our e-store and buy some Speed Academy swag, do all that fun stuff. We even have a Patreon page if you want to support us with five bucks a month or whatever, we'll send you a sticker to say thanks. So uh, yeah, tune in soon for our track test. And after that, maybe even a little uh, car show at turn 14. Come to Envy Auto for the Speed Academy car wash. $8 and double wash your car while wearing a Speed Academy bikini. This is all your fault. Put all the scuzz on this. Thing. This is all tree scuzz.